Hello family, welcome to the Opolotivasti Solutions. And in this video we're going to be looking at how to dismantle, uh, disassemble a Lenovo uh, V110 series laptop. And uh, before we, we start, if you're new to this channel, kindly uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, before wasting any of your time, we can just start right away. This guide was requested for by one of our followers, known as the Tech Guy, when he commented in one of our previously made videos, as quoted directly, the laptop turned into pieces. Thanks for your guide. Kindly create one tutorial for Lenovo V110 disassembly, and he went ahead to say thanks once again. Thanks. So we decided to do as requested. Hope this video brings out exactly what he meant. Enjoy as we learn together. For more of related videos, kindly subscribe and hit that notifi notification bell, like, share, and comment. And uh, I'm going to be needing uh, these tools. We're going to be using uh, uh, this screwdriver. And uh, we shall need the presser or the blade. And uh, in this case, I can use these two. These two can act as my presser. Uh, they are the only tools that are actually required right now. I'll, I'll put the size of the screw in the description below. So uh, without wasting any of your time, let's just start right away this assembling this laptop. So I uh, have this uh, laptop. It's uh, a Lenovo. It's a Lenovo uh, V V1. One zero series, so you can use this uh, tutorial to dismantle. So let's start right away. Uh, we need to count these screws. We, uh, we, are, we, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen screws, and now of the thirteen screws, we start with this middle one, the one that holds the DVD player. Uh, but before you're doing all this, you need to first make ensure that you uh, that you you need to ensure that you're following the best practices, ensuring that your laptop is turned off fully. First, shut it down before you start any of this activity. So I've uh, removed the <coughs> excuse me. I've removed the the screw, this screw that holds the DVD player, and uh, it's it's out. After removing that, I go ahead and uh, unscrew all the remaining 12 screws. So I'll start right away with this one. Start with this one. Unscrew it. Uh, unscrew this one. Go to the next one. Unscrew. Unscrew this one. Unscrew this one. Unscrew this one. This one is a little harder. I will cut some force. Uh oh. I'll go to this one. This one, Unscrew this one as well. So I will, 
after that I'll uh, turn the laptop <coughs> and open it. So on opening it I'll get my presso tool, I'll get this presso tool and uh, run it over this other side, the front side of the, the laptop where the keyboard, what, what the, the one that houses the keyboard. So I will uh, wrap it. I will, uh, I will shrink it. So loosen up the edges. I will use this presser tool or the blade to loosen up the edges. Yes, so I realize there is a there is one screw that I missed out. Uh, I think I was hurrying. There's a screw this side that I missed out. So you have to ensure that you remove all the screws so that you don't fall into that uh so you uh after 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 loosening the little bit you realize that the lower case wraps around wraps around the the opening area so you have to open open the base to ensure that it's uh you have this main board that we are interested in. So here we have uh, the main parts of uh, this laptop. Basically, we have uh, we have the cable. Uh, we have the fan here, the cooling fan. We have the CPU, the CPU which is under the uh, under the the heat pipe. This is the heat pipe here, and below it there is a CPU, which is being cooled by this fan uh, through this uh, heat pipe. Then we have uh, the hard drive here. This whole section, uh, it's it's uh, housing the motherboard. Uh, sorry, the hard drive. Then we have uh, the speakers here. Uh, this one is which connects to the main board as well. Uh, then we have uh, the RAM, the RAM port slots which is also available with the RAM upgrade socket. In case you want to upgrade your RAM, this is your socket you, you can put or you can use. Then we have the battery. This is the battery itself, uh, also being housed in this frame. Uh, I think that's that. So what we have to do is uh, remove the battery. First remove the battery so that the, 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 there is no discharge, everything, there is no power in the laptop so what we have to do is first disconnect there's a cable that connects this battery to the board main board which is this one here so you, all you have to do is first disconnect that cable to ensure that the battery is off so there's no power flow there's no power supply into the main board so we have to remove the battery itself and uh, this battery uh, there are two screws that uh, hold the battery that stick the battery together to the uh, frame or the board and uh, these are the these, these are the screws so all we have to do is unscrew these two unscrew the two and uh, unscrew this we're doing this after disconnecting the connectors removing the connectors of the battery so I will slide uh, the battery slides back gently. I will slide it back gently, gently, gently. And here we are. This is our battery. It's out. So I'll put it aside. And then uh, I'll concentrate on the hard disk because it's the one that stores data. So I, I wouldn't want my data to be interrupted. So I'll have to first secure the data. And this is the hard drive. So I have to... But before... Uh, on, it, on top of it, there is a, a cable that runs over the hard drive. 
and this cable is the one that connects to the audio output it's the one that connects to the audio pin sorry the audio out 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 uh, connector so I'll have to first uh, disconnect or remove that connector so that I, I don't interfere with any connectivity so I'll just remove it disconnect it off from the main board it has some gum or glue adhesive glue which is which holds onto the hard drive so I'll first ensure that I've removed it and it has some tape this tape that holds it so I'll first remove it then uh, here is the screw that holds the hard drive so I'll, I'll have to first unscrew that I remove it uh, remove that screw put it aside now the hard drive slides right away this side so I have to first slide it because there are connectors which attach it to the main board so I'll have to just push it a little so that it slides back and slides out I remove it and this is my hard drive this is the hard drive that we have removed I'll put it aside also now on putting that aside <clears throat> Next is, uh, I have to look at uh, the wireless card, this here, right, this right here is the wireless card and it has, it has connectors, <clears throat> it has the connectors that connect it to the board so I'll first have to remove these connectors, disconnect the connectors, gently remove them this side Put them there and it has one screw this uh, wireless card has one screw that attaches it to the main board I'll have to unscrew it it's one screw once you are unscrewing the card moves upwards so slide it out gently and here we are this is our Wi-Fi or wireless card put it aside gently and uh, focus on now uh, so our next step is to focus on the heat heat sink and the fan with the heat pipe so I'll, I'll uh, first remove this but before okay I will, I will first unscrew these two I'll first it has three screws that connect to the uh, heat sink or heat pipe rather so I'll first un unscrew this unscrew it using this uh, format I'll go to this as well I'll go to this one and it loosens up a bit so gently I'll remove it But remember, they are they are what they are <clears throat> sorry. The uh, these connectors that hold or connect it to the main switch, sorry, to the main board. So I'll, I'll first disconnect that as well. Then uh, just on top of the on top of the fan. There is the, this power cable runs on top of the plastic holder so I will first remove it gently and ensure that it's loose it's not uh, intact with the fan, fan itself then I will lift the fan up gently and here I have the fan with the cooling pipe and the sink itself this is how it looks so I will remove it gently then put it aside and uh, left, I'm left with the RAM chip I will have to also remove it because at this moment we have to dismantle or dis uh, connect everything. So I'm left with uh, some connectors. Ensure that you are uh, you disconnect all the connectors that are connecting onto the board, onto the main board. So I will uh, first remove this power, the power line that connects to the main board, the one that supplies power, electricity. I'll get it off. Second, I will uh, disconnect this connector. Remove this connector also. And uh, there is this VGA 
VGA connector that runs from the screen. I'll also uh, remove it. But for this, uh, you just flip up the connector. There is a handle. Just flip it up slightly. Don't use force. And it will lift. It will open. On opening, I just remove it slightly. Okay. So this is uh, this is it. Then uh, we need to first remove the speakers. This is the connector that connects the speakers. So we just uh, need to just disconnect. Uh, gently remove it. Gently disconnect this part. And uh, follow through. Follow through those wires. Follow through the wires to the speaker. It's it's it's. Then flip it up slightly to remove it from the uh, frame. So this um, this is the speaker, the laptop speaker that you uh, was connected, and uh, it works pretty well. This is how it looks. So I'll get it out. Next we have, uh, there is a connector up here, which we need to disconnect as well. Uh, the one that connects uh, the touchpad. So we need to get it off gently. Okay, uh, we're left with this connector here that connects the hard drive. Sorry, that connects the CD player or DVD player. We need to just flip the handle up and then remove it, remove the connectors gently, gently and gently. Okay, I think uh, now that we are done removing all the connectors, we can remove the main board gently. So I will uh, remember that this board has uh, two screws that connect it to the frame. There's this downer screw here, that is screw number one. Then there's this other screw, which is screw number two. So we have to remove these two screws. Uh, right away, let's remove this one. Boop, 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 boop. Out. Remove this one as well. Oop. Okay, so we have removed all the, all the screws. And now we are left with the removing the main board. But before we do that, we need to take note that there is a connector that connects the main, the, uh, the keyboard to the main board. So we have to open this main board gently in order to, to locate that uh, keyboard connector. So just flip it gently, gently, gently like this. I hope you were able to see the keyboard connector, which is this one here. This is the keyboard connector. So if you just remove the, the, the motherboard, you might easily damage or spoil the keyboard or the keyboard handle. So I'll remove this and clip it and disconnect the connector. Remove the connector, keyboard connector to the main board. And here we are. This is our main board. So we are done with the main board. And on the main board, it has a, what we call the CMOS battery for basically storage, uh, working on the clock, things like that. We shall have a lecture on that anytime soon. So on removing my motherboard, I'll just put it aside a little slightly. And uh, this here, this right here is, uh, is the touchpad. The touchpad that you use to eh, flip, uh, move the cursor, and so forth so here we are left with the the screen so this is the frame that the frame that houses the keyboard and uh, so we have to Follow through these cables so that uh, we remove the screen, the screen section. Uh, it has uh, some adhesive glue or rather tape that holds these cables intact so that they don't just linger around. Don't. So I will just remove those uh, tape pieces gently and uh, follow through 
this VG, this is the VGA cable. I will just uh, unflip it, remove it gently, and then follow these uh, wireless uh, uh, connectors. Uh, then follow through this side as well. Okay. Then I'll look at uh, the hinges. The hinges have three screws. I think this one was uh, broken, but it has three screws. So you would unscrew here, unscrew here, and we are left with this. So I will uh, unscrew this as well. This is an odd machine, I think. That's why we don't have screws here. Then on this side, we have also three. We just have to remove this, unscrew this, unscrew this. And this then open it slightly with some little force open it slightly and here we are remove this power uh, connector put it aside And here we are with this part. This is the keyboard section. If I'm to move it up slightly, oh, there are some things that might pour. Just keep it intact. Put it aside as well. And here we are left with the screen. Left with the screen. This is the screen. So what we are left with is uh, we use this presso tool of ours here. The one that we can use to unwrap or uh, remove the screen cover. So we start right away by removing this screen cover you just have to pass through the edges as you cut across and you remove this cover just use the processor tool as you use your fingers to just remove it gently uh, gently so that you don't affect the screen uh, remove it and this is how it looks so once it's done you just uh, put it aside Then what we are left with is looking for how to how can remove this screen. This is the entire screen. So we, we remove, uh, it has also screws attached at the edges. But before we do that, we have to look for uh, the connection point. So we have the camera here. This is our camera. We have to see how we can remove it. Uh, we can just uh, flip it out. But uh, before we do that, we have to see how we can uh, unscrew the screws that hold the hinges. So let's first uh, see how we can uh, remove the screen. So we have we start by removing. It has this screw here. Then also here at the corners, let's first remove uh, the connection cables, uh, the connection wires. So we, we have this one screw, we have two, three, four. So these are all screws that are holding the screen. So let's first start by unscrewing one by one. Start by this one, remove it, put it aside, go to the next one, unscrew it, unscrew it. Put it down, go to the next one, unscrew it. Uh, we are remove, trying to remove the handles, the screen handles. Remove this, remove the fourth one, and screw the fourth one. And, uh, here we go. So here our screen is about kind of loose. Uh, we can proceed by removing it. We can just uh, put our presser tool and remove it. 
gently. It has a connection wire. We'll move this connection wire and uh, get rid of all the connections of the screen. So this is our screen. Here we are. Here we are. This is its connection wire. And these are the connectors attached to it. So we can uh, get it down in case it's uh, spoiled. One, we can remove it. So here we have these hinges. We have to remove the, unscrew the hinges also. And uh, let's start by removing the screws. Remove this one also. Remove this also to get off the hinges. So it's loose. Once the hinge is loose, we can just get it off slightly and gently. In most cases, it's these hinges that are hold that hold the this cable wire, this connection wire that goes direct to the camera and uh, the screen. So we get it off gently, gently, gently. Move it gently. It's always uh, in this part. So we get off. We can put back our hinge holder. These are so delicate. So we shall get out the connecting wires. Get it off gently. Get it off gently. 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 So there are two wires here. So we can proceed by getting off our camera. This is our camera. Let's get it off gently. It's also a delicate part. It's also a delicate part. This is how it looks. This is the camera, the front camera. And uh, it's also out. out of the system so recap recap of uh, removing the screen these are the hinges these are the hinges so we get the hinges off we get it off So once all that is done, we look for how we can uh, replace the spoiled parts. Uh, so we have to, if in case it is the screen which is uh, spoiled, we replace the screen. So we have moved up to this level of uh, rep screen replacement. So this video can help you uh, direct you or show you how we can replace the screen. And this is the level that we are at. So once we have established our uh, our screen that we want to replace, we can all go right uh, through. We can go back and try to reassemble or replace the screen. So right away, we have to devise means of how we can uh, reassemble this machine, uh, rather this laptop. So I need to get the screen done. I need to get the screen uh, back. I'll, like, I'll replace the old with the new. So we start uh, by fixing back these hinges, uh, making sure that they are intact. One thing you should not forget is that uh, these hinges are kind of delicate. Once they break, it's, it's very hard to hold the screen. So I'll start by getting my screws, uh, putting back these screws. I will start by putting back the screws at the holder, the hinge holder that holds the screen. So this one, fix it slightly and gently, all with care.
So this one is a put box. This let me put back this. Uh, get these other screws also back. Put it in. check with the four corners of the edges and see that uh, everything is intact. Uh, you have to ensure that the cables or the wire, rather the wires pass through the right pathway so that they don't interfere with the alignment. So I'll ensure that all my connection points or connection wires are passing through the right pathway so I'll just uh, put this back, back, back. This is uh, the connection point, or rather connection cable for the camera. So once all that is done, I will get my screen back. My new screen. My new screen back. I'll uh, get the screws. I'll get the screws that hold this, the, the screen and uh, put this, put it back here. I'm putting the screen, uh, it's, um, I'm putting it the other way around. I'm putting it with the, it has a cover. So for the screen safety, you have to put it at least with a piece of paper or just to cover the screen so that you don't damage it in the process. So I'll put back the screws and I'll get another screw. We'll first ensure that this pathway, this cable is uh, fitted in the right pathway. Okay, I'll put it back. Uh, ensuring that it's past the, passing through the right pathway. Okay, okay. Okay, so once that all, all once all that is done, I get my cover, my screen cover. I, I attach it, touch it straight. I touch it. I ensure that these pathways start to confirm that the pathways are all straight and uh, aligned very well into their the cow the, the wires are aligned into their pathway so you realize something i don't know whether you have you have noticed something and uh this is something that i'm leaving out for you to figure out this is something that i leave for you to figure out but uh, let me proceed by ensuring that my cables are fixed in the right pathway so let's get off this cable that this wire that was but ensure that you, you should always ensure that they don't uh they don't cover in in between the hinges because remember the hinges are supposed to be connected to the other part of the laptop so you ensure that you don't lock them inside you ensure that you don't lock them inside so this is what i was talking about you see this this screen <laughs> this screen was turned the other way around that is something i told you i left for you to figure out but it was turned the other way around so i have to remove it and unflip it back to this other side so that it faces the front side so uh the other cover actually it was uh the other cover was meant to be covered at the front side so that is uh one correction that i should make so uh 
but it's it's already attached with its with, with glue, so we can just leave it there and uh, align this screen here to this direction. So let's just do it quick. Put align the uh, the, 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 the wires into their pathway. Put them back into their pathway so that we uh, finalize with this. So I will uh, do it gently. So I'll get the screws and screw back this into this place. I'll get another one, fix it back into its, or its place. Then I'll get another one. Fix it back here. Oops. Uh, fix it back here. Fix it back here. And I'll get another one. I'll get another one. The fourth one. I'll get the fourth one. I'll get the fourth one. Uh, I'll put them off. I'll put them on the magnet so that they don't get lost in the process. So get it here also. Yep, get it in, get it in. So I'll I'll, I'll definitely get my cover and uh, press it back and uh, press press so that it fixes. It's fixed intact into its uh, frame. Ensuring that they are all fixed and aligned properly. So this is how we uh, check all the angles and press harder so that uh, they, they, it, it's, it's aligned and fixed very well. Okay, so we we have it all fixed now. Now we have uh, to join the other part, the part that holds this part that holds the keyboard, that houses the keyboard. So we have to devise means of how we can connect it back. So without wasting our time, we can just uh, connect the hinges, connect the hinges. Connect the hinges. So you have to be careful. Remember, we are dealing now with this with the screen also. So, we, and uh, the results are something that I'm I'm leaving out for you to figure out. So as uh, as I'm putting fixing this, you have to be very keen. Uh, we have to be very keen. So let's let's get the screws uh, fixed. Get the screws fixed. I'll get this screw here, the one that holds the hinges, and uh, ensure that the, the, the wires are passing direct through their pathway. So you have to be very careful. And in other words, if you don't uh, make them uh, pass through the right pathway, they will. Uh, Closing, closing the laptop will be a bit hard. Will be a bit hard for you, so you have to be careful while uh, executing this. So I'll get from my magnet. I'll get uh, the screws that I need. The screws that hold uh, the hinge onto the frame. So I'll get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Get this out also. Get them out. So once I'm done, I have to get my other. Where did I put it? I'll get uh, the screws. So I'll uh, get my screws. I'll 
get my screws and uh, have them fixed back but always ensure that uh, your cables or rather these wires are fitted right into their pathway yeah once you don't do that you might find challenges or problems while aligning or fixing back the other parts so you have to ensure that all the cow uh, the wires are fitted back into the right pathways so I will get my screws I'll get my screws and I'll fix this screw number one fix it fix it back get another screw fix it back to the hinges to the hinges so I'll get another one fix it to the hinges get another one fix it in the hinges get another screw Fix it there. Get another one. So a recap of what we've done. We've uh, put uh, put back the frame, the screen frame. Aligned it very well into the hinge fitting. Once we're done aligning it to the fit into the uh, uh, we got the screws uh, aligned or rather attached to the screws. Back. Put the screw back. the screw back put the screw back also put the screw back Put this screw back also. So ensure that they're all fitted in very well without any challenges and ensure that they're all firmly fitted in. Then we have this cable. Ensure that they're all passing through the right pathway, through their direct pathway. Confirm that the wires are all in the right pathway. So once we are done, we shall get our motherboard, our main board. 
shall get our main board and uh, fix it back onto the frame. Shall fix it back onto the frame, but uh, you have to ensure that they're all aligned very well and uh, you don't have any other left particles. Particles like nails, the screws, any particle, any electronic particle. Ensure that there is nothing. Ensure that the frame and the board are always free from all those, from anything actually. So I will uh, get this connection point, the keyboard uh, connector, and uh, first fix it back inside here. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit short, so I have to be careful once fixing it. And you have to be keen because if you leave it loose, it will, uh, it might uh, not uh, display the keyboard, uh, so the, uh, the keyboard might not function. So you have to be careful and ensure that it's fitted in very well. Ensure that it's fitted in very well. So I will uh, connect it. I'll connect it firmly. I'll connect it firmly. it firmly you have to be very keen and careful you have to be very keen and careful once uh, you don't connect it firmly it might uh, disturb you in the end so, which we don't want to go into all that circus so it's better we do it now once and for all and then by ensuring that it's connected firmly. So once it's done, I will uh, have to uh, fit it back into its position. Oops. You see, I told you, you have to connect it firmly. I think I'd, uh, I didn't press the, the fastener. So let me just uh, press it using this car, uh, this car tool here. Uh, let me push it, push it slightly inside. It's it's short. That's why it's giving us some. Uh, it's that's why it's giving us a run for our money. But uh, let's fix it and uh, get rid of it. Okay, so I'll press my. I'll press it and uh, once I'm done with that, we shall just flip it uh, to this angle. Then ensure that uh, I clear the space where the board sits and uh, ensure that it's fitted in firmly well. Okay, so I will show that it's fitted in firmly well. Oh yeah, so get this. So I'll get uh, get the screws. So once I've confirmed that it's fitted very well, start with the screw angle here, put it there, I'll get another screw, I'll get another screw, and we shall fit in here. <coughs> then I'll get a uh, I'll ensure that I connect this part, uh, the one that connects uh, to the CD player. 
So I will extend that CD player connection and fix it back. Then I look for other connectors, other connection points. We have uh, we have the antenna, we have the display, the VGA part of it. So I will uh, fix also the VGA. Then uh, we have these two lines uh, for the antenna, the one that connects to the a wireless card so I'll first ignore that and uh, deal with the VGA which I need to fix <coughs> back into its position all right so once that is done I'll uh, get my uh, the connector I'll get my other connector back here the connector back here and uh, fix it well ensure that it's uh movement is aligned very well in its pathway so i will get my fan cooling fan which i will fix back into its uh, position and fix it back into its position and uh, sure that it's uh, fitted also very well and okay so I'll, there is I'll get a uh, nice cruise so one thing that we have to put into consideration is the heat sink the heat sink has to be fixed firmly onto the frame or rather the processor because once it's not fitted firmly it can uh, it can lead to malfunction uh, the, the processor malfunction since it won't be getting enough heat and it won't be cooled very well so you have to put into consideration that you need to uh, fix it firmly and uh, tightly so that it can get enough aeration so this fan of ours has to be not disturbed at any point it has to be fixed firmly okay so uh, our next step is ensuring that we put back the screws wow we put back the screws into the cooling fan mm -hmm. Where did I put the screws? Where did I put the screws? Get the screws. So I'll get the screws. Get the screws. Fix it back here. Get the other screw. Fix it back here uh, into the heat sink, the cooling sink. Fix them firmly, and then this fan angle. It. Fix it. So ensuring that this uh, this can, uh, cable connection wire passes through the right pathway here it's supposed to pass through the fan area so once that is done we 
get these other connection points. So once that is done, I'll just uh, put these connection wires into the right pathway. So there is always some uh, tape that uh, holds them firmly so that they don't they always move out, in and out of their pathway. So I'll put it back here. Here and get the tip, the adhesive tip, or rather the silver tip, but uh, the electric version, the one which is a bit uh, firm, firm and tight. So I'll fix it back here to hold these connection wires firmly and steadily. So I will get my speaker, I will get the speaker, fix the speaker back, put the speaker back. Put the speaker back in its position, in its speaker position, and then the connection wires, also align them in the pathway. Align them in their pathway. Align them in their pathway very well. So we shall uh, flip our, once all that is done, we shall just flip our laptop carefully and gently in a closing format and close it like this. So this is how it appears. This is how it appears. Um, so I'll confirm that these hinges are firmly fitted. So I'll just tighten the screws to ensure that they are firmly fitted and they don't have any loose connection or any loose point. So our next uh, uh, thing is get the RAM chip and uh, fix it into the RAM slot. Fix it into the RAM slot, then uh, get our wireless card. Fix it also into its... Uh, slot then we get the antenna wires the ones that are responsible for the wireless connectivity or rather the network connectivity and uh, before we do that we get uh, this screw and uh, firmly fix the wireless card firmly fix the wireless card Fix it back into its position. Then we get the hard drive. Get the hard drive. Shall fix the hard drive back here. Fix it back. A 
and attach its screw. Attach its screw. Then connect it to the fire. Uh, this put connection point. So ensuring that they are all fitted firmly, I'll get the battery. We shall get the battery and fix it back. Once all that is done, we get our battery and fix it back so that we can uh, have power into the laptop itself. So I'll look for the screws. There are two screws that hold uh, the battery. Uh, so we get that screw and uh, fix them. We get the screws and fix them back. Fix them back here. Get the second screw. Put it back here. Once all that is done, we move the battery connection point or rather wire into its pathway and connect it to the main frame or rather the main board so once that is done we confirm that we've not left any part unconnected onto the frame then uh, on confirmation uh, on confirmation there is nothing we can just get our cover, our main cover, and cover up the laptop so that we are completely done. I will go to the next phase of covering the laptop fully, get its cover, attach it very well, or rather fix it firmly into its position. Then once we are done, we get, uh, get the screen screws and get the CD player fix it back into its position and uh, let's first get the screw that uh, holds the CD player back into its uh, position then the rest will get uh, the screws and uh, put them back into their respective uh, points. Get the screw. Get another one. And another one. Another one as well. Fix them firmly. Thank you. 
once that is done you get this other side also fix it So I think this is it for uh, uh, confirming that we don't have any pending screws. There's this one, we have to also fix it. We have to ensure that you don't have any pending, any pending, uh, any pending screws untouched. So I will open the laptop. Once it's all done, I will open it and power it up. I'll power it up and check, confirm whether it's all good. And uh, mine here seems to be fine. It's uh, all okay. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you. Kindly subscribe if you're new here. And uh, in case you wanna, just comment and let us know of anything that you want us to do. In case there is any video that you want us to, any laptop that you want us to work on, we shall. Thank you. May God bless you.